Hi guys, Simple Leopard here and welcome to a different type of video, borderline rant, borderline chat and borderline review type of video and this is not a gaming video and I'm talking in English so that's going to be interesting because I'm not talking in my native languages in Hindi anymore. So this video is why I stopped using my iPhone. So we have 10 issues to go through. Yeah, I'm calling them issues right away. But the first one is that the battery life just sucks. And you can keep this point in your head regarding the 2018 situation and I'm talking from the perspective of an owner of an iPhone 5S. So I have a 5S. Like all of these points are gonna revolve around me and my experience as a user of the iPhone 5S. So the first point is the battery life. It sucks. Like now it just literally sucks. Uh, I mean it charges really quickly. But that also means that it, the battery drains really quickly as well. Whether I'm using social media apps, whether I'm watching a movie, whether I'm watching a YouTube video, whether I'm playing a video game, the battery just drains really quickly. But the good point is it charges up really quick as well. Second point is, or the second rant is that the port, the lightning port, I think that's what it's called. Like in Android, we have the USB mini, USB-C now. We also have that now, which is also irritating. Uh, that's a whole different video, but the iPhone, there's the lightning jack if I'm not wrong and look I live in India where Android is dominating the market and iOS is not dominating the market that much so a lot of people only have Android phones and the Android phones which have USB mini so finding a USB mini port charging port charger is really easy rather than finding someone with a lightning port third point is again it's in perspective from from a iPhone 5s owner in 2018 is that the small screen it's killing me now but having a small screen is also really good but that's a whole other video again but the third point is that the screen is so small and it's really hard to watch videos now and movies as well on it now the fourth point is that the iOS is a whole different environment and when I'm talking about the environment I'm not saying that like there are different clouds, there are different like rainy seasons or whatever and I mean that like everything is just different from Android and remember that in Indian market Android is dominating the market so it's really hard to like do certain things I'm not gonna say anything else because there are other points where this will be discussed. So the, the fifth point is basically you can say that this is especially for the 5S but in 5S there's no 4G and we know the 4G thing right now in India. It's popping off the 4G Geo stuff and everything is just popping off and 5S is not 4G compatible and that is really hard and I don't know where my hair is going. Yeah, uh, having not a 4G phone today is really hard in India because for certain reasons because of the data and all of the nice packages we are missing as an iPhone 5s owner because our iPhone does not support 4G in iPhone 5s. Six point again is only for 5s if I'm not wrong because I don't have knowledge of the 6 and then the 8, 7 and whatever. The 5s does not support OTG so what the hell like OTG we can do a lot of things with OTG. So the people who own OTGs and use it in their phones might be able to relate it with me because we can transfer photos, videos, we can watch videos, we can like transfer music, we can transfer almost anything which is transferable via OTG. So having OTG support and having an OTG always in your pocket is really helpful these days. Seventh point is like everyone knows it that there is no Bluetooth connectivity to other devices. And when I'm saying that other devices, I literally mean other mobile devices, which is which means Android or Sony, anything. But with Bluetooth connectivity, we can connect speakers, headsets, whatever. But what I'm saying is that there is no Bluetooth connectivity for other phones so that we can transfer images, files, videos. And I know that there are solutions for that as well, but it should be a basic thing. So that's not there. So that's why this point is in this list. Okay, so this 8 point is really close to my heart because I've experienced it and the problem is that the iMessage just won't turn off. The green bubbles, you know, I have to get them to blue bubbles. But the iMessage just won't turn off and it won't let me allow to send a normal message because iMessages are like WhatsApp, so 
they won't charge you anything it's just that the message is going via or via your internet connection so i need to send a normal offline message and it's really hard to switch off the iMessage for me at least ninth point is the storage as we all know iphone comes out with certain storages which is 16 32 and 64 and now i think there's 128 gb as well but there's no expandable memory which sucks and we all know that iphone increases their price as they are increased in storage so that's not a really good thing mostly people are stuck with the 16 gb variant and the 16 gb variant just does not do the stuff man come on like 16 gb is really easy to fill up because of the photos and the videos and the apps and i think almost like only out of the 16 gb we are only able to use 12 gb if i'm not wrong but yeah okay so the 10th point is actually not really a point point but from a consumer point of view it actually is really like hard hitting right in the face so that is that apple lies to its own customers so like we've seen various articles stating that apple lied to its customer with the information that they have of their customers that they are leaking it to other people and giving it to other organizations and that the iphone bend gate thing like i apple knew that iphone 6s or the 6 could bend but they like just didn't give a shit and the latest controversy is that the iphone battery sucks after the on the ios 11 so like that is not really how you maintain a good relation with your consumer. So those were the 10 reasons why I stopped using my iPhone. I own an iPhone 5S in 2018, I know, but don't worry, I might make a why I love using my iPhone as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this different, this new type of video. And if you did, don't forget to hit the thumbs up and subscribe button. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.